Oh, instant cash, buy sell trade. Trips pawn shop. Heal up. Uh, hey. What? Uh, how's it going? You, um, looking to buy or sell or. I have goods that need your gold. Uh, really? Well, let me see what you got. Ooh, uh, lockpick, $90. Deep this better be multi. Of the Atlantic. Dark. Dreaming. Sleeping. Rustling robes of the Reaper. Aha! No, stop punching things, Mari. You have to stop. Blood bank downstairs. Fuck yeah, give to me. Give me the blood. Give, 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 give me the blood. I want the blood. Give me the blood. Employee of the month? Your eyes are really big. That's weird. Hmm. You next up for the needle? Hmm? Huh? Your donation could save a life, you know. Oh, but isn't it a little late for altruism? I don't think you're here to give blood at all. I don't buy it, Betty. I bet you're here to take blood. Am I right? Does the Pope wear a funny hat? Right down to business. None of this pretend I don't drink blood shit. Very refreshing to find a decisive customer. I respect that. So, what'll it be? How much for the crimson nectar? If you have to ask. I show me your crimson ne crimson nectars. All right, ninety dollars for a blood pack. Blue blood pack. What is that? Oh. I guess I can buy some. Just one. I'm gonna have the blood buff. El Capo. El Capo. Pixie Queen. Where all is Queen? Hmm. <laughs> Malcolm, you are free tonight? I thought you could swing by my apartment after your shift. You still make the house calls, don't you, doctor? Have some blah, blah, blah. Next. Do I really have to ask twice? We don't have to do anything if you don't want to, but I really do need some help studying for my anatomy test. Please, Paige. This girl is thirsty. Guess I'll see you around five. I'm really glad you finally decided to come over. And if you sh should want to me to show you my appreciation, you just have to ask. Malcolm, do you really think you'll be able to get a day off next week? Cemetery my runoff congealing at the door. My mother's coming to town on Thursday. I bought a new mattress and some new containers for the guest room. Do you think you can pick up some do donuts and orange juice on the way home from breakfast? Hello. Berry sauce. How dare Okay, okay. I'll drink some blood. All right. Okay. Abstract. All right. I drank some blood, guys. All right. Let's okay. Let's get some painkillers for our boy and get out of here. And then we gotta go trick someone into letting me drink their blood. Blackmail the doctor. Cranberry <laughs> sauce. Hey, buddy. Hey, go to the cabinet. Hi. Do you wanna, do you wanna come over here? Do you wanna come over here? Uh. The taxpayers are certainly not getting their money's worth here. Some numb juice. Oh, oh, 
Holy Christ, I needed that. I got the boom boom. Yeah? Did you waste those sons of bitches? I sent them to the other side. Good. Great. But it was painful. Did you get my money back? My hands are as empty as my head. Damn. I could have used that money to buy myself some new kidneys. Anyway. Where do my feet lead me next? You need to make some place disappear. A warehouse. Looks to be a Sabbat interest. Who tells me where's the house of wares? Uh, there's a guy. I never met him, but I heard a lot about him. His name is Tong. Bertram Tong. He's one of you types. If there's anyone who knows more than me about this city, it's him. Unfortunately, Tong's hiding out at the moment. Excuse me, one of my types? What does that mean? Are there other voices for me to hear? If there are, I don't know them. But about this Tong. Tong's laying low because of Therese. Therese Vorman, you know her? Anyway, word is Therese and Tong are feuding. I don't know the details. My takes that Tong thinks he's about to get whacked, so he's gone underground till Therese calls it off. If you want to put that warehouse into orbit anytime soon, you're gonna have to get Therese to call off the feud. Where's the dark daughter of Janus? She and her sister Jeanette, they run the asylum. Some freaky customers frequent that place. I try not to do business there. I need you to paint me a picture of someone. Who exactly? Janice's white daughter. Therese? Therese I don't like, but I can respect her. Jeanette's different. I don't know what to make of her. She's a little, you know, in the head. I don't know. Therese is, well, like you. And I would think so is Jeanette. But I hear rumors about her. Tell me more of the blood. Right. You're straight off the bus. Once a month I get fed vampire blood. Heals me faster. Makes me stronger than a normal human. I don't age. By looking at me, you wouldn't realize it, but I'm almost 60. Hmm. I am no longer here. Do you think I can eat this guy? Or that's probably a bad idea. My flesh. I need blood. I need blood. Cemetery runoff congealing at the door. Alright, but like, I need to eat some blood and I can't seem to find anybody. Is this where I'm supposed to be going? I need free blood. Hello? Does anybody want to come into a dark alley with me? Alright, let's look at our quest. Menu, character, quest log. We can use that must be infiltrated to destroy the problems that but the only person who might be able to get you in is hiding because of them. To get to Tongue, you'll have to find some way to call off the feud. Okay. Surfside Diner. Let's go to the Surfside Diner. It's right here anyway. Hello. Hey, honey. Looking for a date? How much will my purse be lightened? For you, honey? 50 American dollars. Best money you'll ever spend. I promise. My affluence is in line with your price tag. I promise. You won't regret it. Mm. Let's go somewhere more... intimate. You lead the way. Okay. Walk this way. Hey, baby. Need company? Come, come. Come, come. Into the- Okay, honey. Let's see what you got. With relish and mustard. Um, 
See you later. Cool tattoos. I was hungry. Bye. Byzantium 2012. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Do you, have you guys seen Byzantium? It's a good movie. It's really cool. I think, if I recall correctly, there's like a bad guy in here, and the voices tell me it's that. Why didn't I do that? Something I can help you with. The night is as cold as a woman wronged. I Every guess. Falls into the flame. A strange weight lies on your shoulders. I don't see how that's any business of yours. Dark and heavy your burden. I'll leave it to you. Goodbye, then. <sighs> What's wrong? What'll it be, honey? I see a pale girl in my mind. Have you seen the pale girl, too? Is that a trick question? Hmm... Child of the Surf and his beauty. Have you seen this couple before? Hmm, let me think. Oh yeah, about four dozen a week. Hmm. Do the pale girls play here? Pale girls? Oh, like the Fitzsimmons albino. Yeah, she hasn't been in here in ages. Thin blood. Do you know these words? Thin blood. Sounds familiar. Is that one of those tropical diseases? I'm gone. Hey, mm. do you not Ugh, to my be bunions here? are killing me. Hmm. That's all the clues I get. Isn't it that girl from the hospital? What girl from the hospital? Need a date? Girl, you coming back for more? What's your problem? Alright, here's the asylum. May as well do this, but... Let's go party, I guess. I don't know what's going on. I feel like if I say one thing wrong, everything's broken. What do we have here? Another scrumptious young plaything straight out of life and into my club? You smell new, little girl. Like fabric softener do on freshly mowed AstroTurf. Oh, I'm not frightening you, am I, duckling? No, definitely not. Hi. I see before me beauty who shares the madness of my mind. What? Oh my, a Malkavian. This ought to be absolutely delicious. Two minds as crazy as ours, and who knows just what might happen. Greeting, daughter of Janus. <laughs> oh, but you've got it bad, little girl. Not sure exactly what is real and what isn't. Janus, let's see. Isn't that a two-faced Roman god? Of course, you're right. You just happen to meet the prettier face first. You are the whiteness, she of alabaster and ivory. <laughs> Wait until Therese hears that. I am white to her black. She'll be absolutely furious. Of course, I won't be wearing white to any weddings, but we can talk about that later. Tell me your name, Doctor of Janice. I'm the finger down your spine when all the lights are out. I'm the name on all the men's remorse. When I pout, the whole world tries to make me smile. And everyone always wants to know who is that girl. My heart beats like a thousand primal drums. Give me the gift of your name. I am Jeanette. And this bit of chaos crammed in a certifiable giggle is my club. I just love to give you funny feelings all night, sweetheart, but I really must trouble with some business. We'll reunite Sweden soon, I promise. A 
Tuntella shattered cells once again collide. Dancing of the 90s. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Everybody, go your own way. If you dance for long enough, you can get a free point of humanity. Yeah. I love when the guy with no shirt and So cool. <laughs> I don't know why I like it so much. Oh, oh everyone stop because I stopped. Your skirt got all bunched up. Seek the daughters of Janice. Janice? What the hell are you talking about? Damn, I always get the weird ones. The sisters bond of the two-headed god. Easy, girl. This ain't that kind of establishment. I'm not one to hit a woman, but you're pushing it. Just tell me what it is you want. Hmm. Huh? Look, the only sisters around here are Therese and Jeanette. They own the place. They're both upstairs, fighting as usual. Why do you need to see him? I am a dancer. Jeanette wants to check the color of my thong. Damn, I wish it was my job. Go on up and see her. Get the elevator right there. What? This watering hole is well kept. Farewell! Check the color of my thumb. Don't try to dominate her? Okay. Your city? Last time I looked, it was called Santa Monica. Not stuck up bit. Oh, oh God. I can't even look at you sometimes. Yes, oh, please. You really seem kind of flattering portrait of me with your turn of the century barb. I always assumed you could do nothing but look down on me. Just the sight of you. The sight of that wicked painted pouch. Concealing that dirty, diseased mind. Sin! You have no sin. <laughs> Let she who is without sin cast the fierce tone. Go ahead and mock me. You pull your pranks, make fun of my ways. It suits you. You're just one big joke. Don't you call me that. Did I start calling a duck a pig as well? I'm your sister. How can you treat me like this? That's it, Jeanette. Run away from the truth. I'll take care of everything, as always.
Please, come in. I do apologize for my sister's crassness if it made you uncomfortable. She's unabashedly scandalous, but in the club business, I suppose that kind of personality is a necessary evil. Are you Therese, the dark daughter of Janice? Therese Vorman, yes. I'm the proprietor of this club, and the only person in this city whose good side it's in your best interest to stay on. What brings you to Santa Monica? Does not the white mistress own this asylum? Jeanette is the freak show I keep around to lure in curiosity seekers. She's very good with the clientele, but her business skills are approximate to those of a four-year-old with a one-dollar bill and a five-and-dime. Call off your conflict with the worm, Dark One. Tongue's exile is self-imposed, I assure you. But then, what reason would I have not to hate that loathsome Nosferatu scoundrel? Bloody Nosferatu. They're so... unclean. I don't want to meddle with your madness. Just make a wormy piece. Hmm. I'd be willing to put the word out that my grievances with Tongue have been swept under the rug. But in return, you'll have to help me remove a particularly burdensome spirit from a property I'm looking to invest in. Speak your quest, Dark One. Rumor is that a personal item of a ghost may be used to draw it out or excise it from its haunt. While I don't put a lot of stock in hearsay, it's my last option. So I want you to go to the Ocean House Hotel, find an item of the spirits, and bring it back. Why don't you go and speak with the spirits? As much as I'd like to ensure it's done properly, you're in no position to refuse. That is, if you still want me to call off the feud. If you give me word to the worm that he is not wanted, I will go. How to battle the ethereal? You don't. They're perfectly harmless. And if this bauble decides to hide itself? If you have to tear the building apart, do so. Three construction crews have already refused to go back to work because they've been spooked, so to speak. I will bring you your bauble. But then you will call off your wormy curse. Oh, I fully intend to do so. You'll find that dealing with me on the whole is appreciably more predictable than dealing with some of the egomaniacs that are my peers. So long as our business doesn't go sour, my word is gold. All I really want is blood. Then I am off to the house in the ocean. Before I forget, take this. The only way to reach the ocean house this time of night is through a tunnel in the sewers. You'll need that key to open the gate for that tunnel. I will do what needs be done, Dark One. If you'll excuse me, I've got situations to set straight. A few more answers from your gray matter? Why so much hate between you and the worm? He meddles in my affairs. He's a bad influence on my sister and she on him. If you were in my place, would you let him compromise your authority? You most certainly would not. I'd quite like it if I never had to hear that name again. Yes, this game is pretty old, but it still looks pretty good. Hmm. Tell me of your sister, the White Princess. Jeanette is the freak show I keep around to lure in curiosity seekers. She's very good with the clientele, but her business skills are approximate to those of a four-year-old with a one-dollar bill and a five-and-dime. I am no longer here. Tongue. What a disgusting name. not gonna do wow cool tongue disgusting I have no unsavory characters trying to approach
Oh my god, move! Golden Guru, what say you? Yeah, not much. Just waiting around for my master. The nasty dude you would not speak of? Okay, okay. I guess I can tell you about it. Oh man, his name's Bertram Tung. He's no Ah, uh, I too seek the nasty dude. Oh man, I wish I knew where he was. I'm getting antsy waiting around for him. I need to tell him some stuff, you know? I don't know where he is or stays or anything. Oh man, I. Whenever he needs me, just, you know, appears! What words do you need to tell the nasty dude? Oh man. Well, Bertram had me keeping an eye on this guy. This Asian dude who's been poking around Santa Monica. Bertram thought he might be a vampire or something like a vampire. I don't know. A life eater from across the sea. Life eater? Damn! I don't even know what that means! <laughs> Is that vampire for a scary ass Asian dude that can probably kick my ass? Oh man! It's like. That's what I think he is. Tell me more of this creature. Oh man, this guy, this, this thing, got wise to me. Now instead of me watching him, he's watching me, you know? I see this guy appear around me all the time, like up in the distance watching me he'll warp up next to me. Oh man, and the cat plays with its prey. Freaking me out! I know this thing is totally toying. I want to put a bullet in its head. Who knows if that'll do it? So I was waiting till I talked to Bertram. Hell, uh, well, if I know where he disappeared to, <laughs> it's messed up! Look, I didn't want to ask you. Since you're a dick ass vampire and I'm just a holy fool, would you mind getting rid of this thing? I will hunt the knife you Hell yeah! Right on! Okay, like I said, he's some kind of Asian vampire thing, you know? The only clue I got is this driver's license that he dropped once while I was tailing him. I get so freaked out that I haven't even had a chance to check it out. Does not the license tell the tale of his location? No. The picture on the license isn't him. I don't know why he had it, but, well, it might help you find out where he is and what he's doing. Here, take it. I will rain blood down upon the Eastern Nightmare. Right on! Just come back and let me know the job's done so I can stop freaking out. Oh, man. Maybe I'll see Bertram by then. Uh, farewell, Golden Ghoul. 